celebrate. And today we're with Associates in Pediatric Therapy, and you're going to meet our patient of the month, who is this pretty girl to my left. That is Eden. Uh, but first of all, let's talk about Team Eden. Check out the t-shirts. They are ready. Uh, <laughs> Caroline Scott is with me. She is the Director of Communications or Marketing at the, uh, at the uh, Associates for Pediatric Therapy. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Caroline, welcome back to the show. Yeah, it's always good to be here. Uh, uh, if you would, uh, tell us a little bit about Associates in Pediatric Therapy and our audience on exactly what you do. I know we come in and we and we celebrate the patient of the month as we should, yes. but an overview of the kind of work that you do, if you would. Yeah, we offer speech um, therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy. We actually have that representation here, all three of them today. So um, we also do behavior therapy. Um, we also have a learning center. We do audiology. I'm probably leaving out some other things we do, but we <laughs> kind of pride ourselves on being a one-stop shop so parents can go and, in Eden's case, um, get all those disciplines of therapy at one place and really develop a team, you know? Now, as we see here, um, a dream team, so to speak. So um, she's a rock star at APT, and <laughs> <laughs> so we're happy to celebrate her today. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, uh, you, you talk about... Uh, the dream team and making yeah. making dreams come true in Eden's case. Let's talk a little bit to mom and dad here. We've got we have Ashton and Evan. Uh, Ashton, I'll go to you first. So tell me a little bit about Eden's story, if you would, please. Um, when she was about six months, we noticed that she wasn't sitting up on her own. Um, and so when she hit one year, she still wasn't walking. Um, she wasn't crawling at all. So we were, you know, very nervous and scared about that. Um, and so we took her to Associates in Pediatric Therapy and um, we started physical therapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy, and you can tell now that she is just doing amazing. I mean, she's walking, she's running, she's talking. Um, she's thriving, she's, she's excelling. She's really doing well now, yeah. So I can tell by the smile on your face, but it always sounds good coming from mom or dad. You're happy with the decision to go to us. So oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, they really made a world of difference um, without them. I don't know if we'd be where we are today. So, okay, let talk to Dad here for a second. All right, Evan. You know, I, I know when when my boys would achieve, you know, and do something and better themselves. So you always get that that heart filled with pride. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe you can tell me about a moment when you said, "All right, you know, Eden's really, you know, she's really getting better and achieving at a high level." So when when did you feel that? Well, we were playing in her room one night, and uh, we tried to several nights in a row set her up in a crawling position and get her to take the first initiative to crawl she'd normally get upset and not want to do it and uh the first time we saw her crawl uh we knew something great was in the making and uh within a month or two she was full-blown crawling throughout the whole house and uh <laughs> Next thing you know, she was running around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would be willing to bet she's pretty excited this time of year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> good, All good. Over the place. She is a beautiful little girl. Let, let's talk a little bit to Team Eden here. So, <laughs> first of all, let's go to Leanne. Leanne, help me out a little bit now. What you are, uh, what kind, you're a speech, uh, is that right? Speech therapist, yeah, right? I'm a speech therapist. So, so, tell me about the improvement that you have seen and heard with Eden. Yeah. Well, I just started with Eden a few months ago, so she saw a different therapist before me, but I've, um, continued to see her making improvement. She just started out at APT just with a few words and we're working on just increasing her vocabulary and putting words together. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, fantastic. You, you know, it, it, it has to be rewarding work when you see her improvement or hear her improvement. I, I would think you'd yeah. get home and you go, you know what, I'm doing work that makes a difference, right? Definitely. Um, Kim, now you're an occupational therapist, correct? Yes. So in, in Eden's case, what kind of uh, exercises or work do you do with her? If you get that mic really close to it, there we go. There we go. <laughs> well, me and Eden worked a lot on her pincher grasp because when she at first when she first saw me, everything was raking. She just wanted to rake everything to her mouth. Um, and then we worked on some, using the spoon and drinking through a straw and getting dressed because that was always a challenge <laughs> for mom um, because she had so many tests ran. She was kind of fearful of that. Um, and then we also worked on some tummy time because uh, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing great. But I can tell you enjoy your work as well. I mean, you, it, it goes beyond your work when you have a little girl like Eden. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. I can tell you guys have become friends. That's, definitely. That's All right, Chelsea, you're up. Yeah. All right, now you are a uh, physical therapist, correct? Yes, sir. So is this more, when I think physical therapy, I'm thinking more uh, cognitive walking, right? 
Right, yeah. So when Eden came to us, she was um, 16 months old, and all she would do would be sitting and butt scooting for mobility. I do that all um, the time. It's yeah. okay. So, all the time. you know, not our most functional position. Right, right. So um, for the first, like, three to six months, it was primarily focused on getting her on her belly and crawling. And we had a horrible time, like, starting that. But then once she started to make progress and started to enjoy therapy, that's when I remember receiving the video from Ashton when they first started crawling. And it brought me to tears because I was just so excited for her and then we did another you know six months of therapy um, and then we started focusing on getting up in that standing position pulling ourselves up to standing and walking and now she's just thriving running around all over the place big next goal is like jumping and going up and down the stairs by herself she so. saw herself on television there and she is smiling you, you are pretty now Eden. you're very pretty uh, so if, if Ashton if you would you were your story is a little bit different and you were referred by a doctor right sometimes it's another parent but a doctor referred you to a social in pediatric therapy, right? Yes, yeah. Um, Dr. Elizabeth Doyle did. So for, for those who are facing similar challenges that, that you, you two have had with, with Eden, what would you tell them about associates in pediatric therapy? Um, I would just say, you know, just to get them in there as soon as you see that, you know, they're falling behind. Um, that's, you know, the most important step. And, you know, all the therapists there are amazing. I haven't had one therapist that, you know, I haven't been highly impressed with. So. Well, I, I see her pointing and she said, Daddy. She saw Daddy with her. She, that's where you got that beautiful hair at, Eden. I'm telling you, it was Daddy. There is any question here. Well, she's a pretty girl. She's obviously a smart girl. So I'm going to come back to you, Caroline, if you would. Yeah. So, so for folks now who may be facing some of the challenges and they're saying, you know what, I need to get professional help. What's the first step? Yeah, and, and like Ashton said, it is that early intervention is extremely important. So um, just speak with your doctor. We um, we need to have that referral. Um, and then just, you know, you can reach out to us too and, and um, find out those steps. Our information is on the TV. But I, Chelsea and I were talking before um, and we were saying that it's not always smooth sailing. Like when they first, um, you know, start off, they're, sometimes they're not happy to be there. But you can see that, you know, over time they just become this. It's, it's like family. You know, and I so, see her smiling watching these yes. kids play because it is a fun place. I've been to Associates in oh, Pediatric so Therapy. It is fun. They learn. They make friends in a great environment with people like Team Eden here. So yes. I want to take another look at you guys before we go away here. And again, Associates in Pediatric Therapy. Guys, happy holidays to you, Eden. Santa, yeah. you, you ready for Santa Claus, Eden? Yeah, you can wave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this yes. is fantastic. Thank you all for coming. Happy holidays to you. And, and continued health and happiness to Eden and your entire family. Really appreciate you coming in today. That's that is our fun. patient of the month. Now you see why these Mondays with associates in pediatric therapy warm my heart. So uh, again, Caroline, thank you for yeah, bringing everyone for in today. Us. All righty, coming up here, all right, the winter games are coming.